Princess be a bad bitch. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Bad Tammy. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn your post notifications on so you get notified when I post a new video so as you guys read by the title your girl is about to attempt to install my first wig i am pretty nervous and i'm pretty excited about this video i'm just like ready to skip through all of this and just go to the final product and see how well or like how it's gonna look you guys asked me for a lot of hair videos and stuff so i was like let me spice it up a bit and see what I can give you guys. So first, let me start off the video by giving a big thank you to Recool Hair for providing the wig for this video. I'm going to leave their information in the description box below. But it's a 13 by 4 lace front wig and the length 24 inches and the style was body wave. It was actually an all pink wig but I ended up dyeing it. As you guys can see, I wanted to go for the root color trend that has been going around. Y'all know I had to try it out with pink, of course. Y'all know that's my favorite color. I'm going to insert a video or a picture I have of when I first received the hair and the process of me dyeing it. But if you guys want to see like the whole behind the scenes of me achieving this color, make sure to stay tuned for my vlog. And then this is the box that hair comes in. And they also sent me this goodie bag. They sent me a bonnet, this comb, wig cap. I think this is like a hair scarf or hair accessory. This edge brush. They sent these cute lashes. So yeah guys, that is all hair details. So thank you again to Recool Hair. I'm also going to be doing an updated Q&A for you guys. I posted on my Instagram to ask me some questions. I haven't did a Q&A since I first started my channel, which is probably like a year give or take by now just wanted to update you guys on my life and you know questions you guys been wanting to ask me so as i'm doing my hair i'm gonna be answering a few questions for you guys but if i do get distracted here and there or you know get brain farts please forgive me because i'm just gonna be like you know trying to perfect the hair so i'm just gonna get straight into the video i'm gonna just let you guys watch me putting some braids in my hair first and then we're gonna get into the whole wig process Since I'm done with my braids, I'm going to use the edge brush to just push them back. And then I have a mirror over here too. So if y'all see me looking to the side, that's what that is. Let's start off with a question. Are you having baby fever? <laughs> I think you guys are asking because I have posted what's the age difference between your first child and your second child. It's like I do, but then I don't. Like, I know I want another child and I know I want a big family, but then it's like I don't feel like I'm ready for it. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna apply my wig cap on. I would say yes and no. And then I'm gonna cut holes right here by my ears. So this is how it looks. I'm gonna spray some got to be glue on here and then blow dry it. But I did say the age difference that I wanted for my kids was kind of similar to how me and my sister's age gap is, which is me and Claudia are three years apart. Me and Nana are like uh, two to one years apart. And then Nana and Karen are like one year apart. Me and my sisters have a very close bond and then that's how I want my kids to be. But then I just feel like I'm not ready for another child right now. So if that answers your question, like I am having baby fever, but then it's like, no. So I'm done blow drying it and that took like a good two to three minutes. I hope that kind of answers like all the baby questions too. I'm about to go ahead and cut this off. Y'all and when I tell y'all I watch so many wig videos. I mean I watch like wig videos in general because I, I like watching like those type of videos okay so let me perfect cutting it because i know how to cut it like real close This is how the wig cap looks. Getting nervous, guys. Next question is, why did you stop smoking? So I'm about to put a, just a little bit of this bronzer on, the Fenty Beauty in the color Coco Naughty. I used to smoke back in the day when I was younger. I honestly stopped when I found out I was pregnant and I never really grew the interest into smoking anymore after my pregnancy and i just don't see myself like just smoking weed while tazana is around period because i just feel like i have to be very alert of like when it comes to her and you know when you on weed drugs like your mind space is not 100 percent clear and i just feel like when i have my child i just my head space needs to be clear so that i feel like that's really the reason i stopped smoking like my pregnancy okay so i feel like that's enough i think i'm gonna put some inside the wig as well i'm debating if i should add some foundation instead but i don't have powder foundation did you want a brother or are you happy that you have all sisters i am very 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 happy that i have only sisters because i feel like boys do too much they are extra boys all have that phase where they hanging with the wrong crowd thinking they gangsta doing all that extra stuff and uh -uh. i'm glad my mama didn't not have to go through that so i'm glad that it's just girls that's why i'm kind of thinking too like i say i want a son but uh -uh, i don't got time for that either so i'm about to try it on and see how it looks real quick so i don't know if you guys can tell but i think i definitely have to cut some more of my wig cap so let me ask another question while i'm cutting that it said if you wasn't an influencer youtuber what career path would you have chosen i feel like i would have been in somewhere dealing with beauty which is most likely hair which i wanted to take hair courses when i was in school because you know um when you're in high school you get to take courses for your career and hair school was one of those choices which i really wanted to take it but of course back in the day my mom didn't have the money for it that's kind of one of the main reasons i just like really stopped caring for it okay so i'm gonna try it on again and then when tazana was born i did take a um a lash class and I felt like I wanted to do lashes, but I never really practiced or had time to practice since I was home with a newborn. I don't know what I was thinking. Like I just had too much on my plate. 
Okay, I feel like that's better. It still has some more, but I feel like I can do that once I actually cut the lace off. I can perfect that. I think I'm going to add a little bit of powder in the inside just to be extra sure. Because once I put it on, it's not taking it off. If you were able to change two things that happened in 2021, what would that be? I'm just adding it in the inside. I think I will probably just say, like, just be more consistent with YouTube. It was times where I would go missing for like a long periods of time. And then one more thing that I would do. Um, Cause I'm kind of the type of girl too that I feel like everything happens for a reason if it wasn't for this happening this wouldn't have happened or so on like if this didn't happen then i wouldn't know how to deal with another situation that would happen similar to that this is how it looks in the inside i barely touched it like i barely put some in there we're gonna see if it makes it different i'm gonna apply it back on and see I think I'm about to glue this bad boy down, y'all. <laughs> I'm about to start by applying glue on the hairline. This is the glue I'm using. It's the Bold Hold. I do be seeing them clean the area first with alcohol. So that's what I'm about to do. Let me ask another question. Do you talk to your father? I think I have mentioned before that I am a daddy's girl, so... Yes, I talk to my dad. I just randomly like call him or he calls me if I'm like nearby where he stays. I'll like call him and see if he's home or not. And then I'll just like go see him. My mom and my dad are separated. They're not like the normal parents that get along. So of course I don't want it to be awkward and stuff. So that's probably why y'all don't see him around. But yes, I talk to my dad. So I'm about to start by applying a thin layer of glue and then with the tail of this brush I'm just going to be pushing it back Okay, so it actually seems to dry really fast so I'm just gonna put another layer but I'm gonna go like section by section and let me ask another question before I do that do a mukbang seafood story time we're actually supposed to be doing one for one of my sister's channels so stay tuned for that did you have any other names in mind for Tazana before y'all came up with Tazana um yes I had my mind set on this one name I don't even remember how to pronounce it so that's how you know it wasn't meant to be i think it was tamalia or tamalaya one of those nana kept saying like that's not cute it's not better than tazana and stuff so i was really just stuck between tamalaya or tazana she was just like one day i don't know where he was just like let's just name her tazana and then he had said like the reasoning behind behind why he liked the name Tazana that kind of was just like you know the final push to choosing her name y'all this stuff is very very sticky and it dries fast and I heard you're supposed to apply it when it's tacky like sticky but I be seeing them say they put three layers so this is the last one I'm gonna kind of really just apply it at the top more. Next, three sneaker purchases in mind. That's a good one. I really been wanting them yellow fours for the longest. So I have those in mind for sure. The cool gray 11s. And I've been wanting the pink fours. They're like some old drops. The pink fours are like some very old shoes, so I can't find them. Do you have any vacations planned? Yes, you guys, this year I really want to 
travel i kind of feel like that's one of the main reasons too that i feel like i don't want to have another child i want to experience first like just living life to the fullest with no responsibilities well i wouldn't say no responsibilities because i already have a child but i just feel like i want it you know i just want to get to experience that without having too much on my plate so I definitely want to travel this year. I really want to go to Miami. I've been wanting to go for the longest. What's another place? I really was looking forward to Las Vegas for Nana's birthday. So I really want to go there. And was I just want to travel. I just want to have fun. Will you try more color wigs this year? Yes. And especially if this install goes good, then I feel like I am going to start giving you guys more wig videos so i would say definitely yes would you get more tattoos definitely 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 yes i was supposed to get a tattoo for tazana's birthday and i was supposed to get a tattoo on my birthday but i just kind of don't make it like a priority like i just don't put it on the top of my list but i definitely want more tattoos so i feel like this year i'm definitely gonna get some the main ones that i really want to get are tazana's name and i want to get a made in mexico tattoo okay so i think this is ready to install guys so i'm about to lay it down so i'm about to focus in the mirror i just sit back and when he's done i be like yo how to tie yo how to tie on there guys i'm nervous to see how it's gonna look once i cut all of this off but here's like a close-up of it after they lay it down they wrap something around i have this i have like a scarf which i feel like i should have grabbed but then it can just melt more in I think I can cut this extra lace off. What do you guys think? Too late. I already cut it. Cause this extra, anyways. I'm gonna turn my hot comb on so we can get this to lay down, and then I'm gonna also turn on my flat iron. Oh, this is a good one. Fuck Mary kill money bag little baby little dirk <laughs> y'all should already know the answer to that well mary part y'all already know the answer i feel like i need a better hot comb so if you guys know any good brands comment down below because i feel like this one don't really give what it's supposed to give y'all know i will marry money bag yo who would i fuck Cause little baby ugly as hell, but he be spoiling his girls. I be seeing a lot of y'all think little dirt cute, but I don't find him attractive. But he seems like a nice guy, so let's keep the nice guys alive. So I would say marry money bag yo, fuck little dirt and kill little baby. Who's your favorite female rapper? Um, I don't have like a favorite favorite female rapper. I like all female rappers to be honest. Like I love Nicki. I love Cardi as well. I love listening to Mulatto. I like listening to the City Girls. I have some um Megan songs that I like. So I don't really have like a particular like oh that's my favorite female rapper so i'm just trying to get this to lay flat y'all i don't feel like the hot comb is really hot combing like i thought it would and this is just the she is bomb hair wax stick i love using that for flyaways so i don't know if i should wait till i cut the lace to style I think I want to do like some loose curls. That's how usually I've seen everybody style this. And I just feel like it looks good. So this is how the length looks. Show y'all. So 
let me take it away from my face because we're about to cut the lace. Uh, I thought a bro nigga said something. Talk a shit, but they still ain't saying. They saying no trap, they bitch out to the feds. Come run it up, run it up. Uh, what she say? Uh, I thought a pussy hoe said something. Uh, I go when I'm talking, you listen. Jealous, cut her off cause she spoke on the business. Go, punish the bitch. Can't swap a dime for a penny. You know that's a stupid decision. Yup, head first with it. I shot a shot at my nigga, bitch. Really didn't think before I did it. Go, make it make sense. Ladies, luckily, I was on point with the last hoe. Kept my receipt. Why? Going to good. Make sure I got a full refund when I gave her back to the street. Go, but if I rip with the set on the chain, I'm thugging you. I already know how I got. You ain't got money, but niggas be lying. Okay, so this is how it looks. I cut it off and I don't really know how to feel about it. Because I feel like it looks like a little dark around it but i think i still have to like clean it up because that's like um excessive glue on there i don't think i want to do edges when i just had the wig for my birthday she didn't do edges and i liked how it looked but i am gonna try to define my middle line a little more so then i can put some concealer and this is the Too faced and the color honey so i'm just put a little bit where are you vlogging your daughter's room um we plan to start on it very, very soon. I'm not like 100% sure when, but definitely soon. So this is how it looks. I don't know if you guys can tell. Quick question. Let me know if you guys want me to keep doing these type of videos. And then like when I do it, would you guys like like a full getting ready with me? Like hair and makeup. I'm liking it. Like I'm feeling it. But I feel like the top, like the dark darkness around it's kind of throwing me off and in the back of the wig it does have this on there so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off um you guys keep asking me like am i doing a true for drink with chi or can i do more videos with him and like how did we meet so i'm gonna save those for videos for a video that i do end up doing with him which i really want to film the true for drink with him so that answers one of those questions are you going to get into fitness that's a good question because yes i feel like this year i'm definitely taking my fitness journey serious because i want to be snatched i want to feel good about myself about my body i feel like i'm always complaining about it but not really doing anything to change it well we're all supposed to be going back to the gym very soon so this is just the best that i could get it i feel like if i were to blend it a little more with makeup it would probably you know blend better and then i feel like the sides are going to get covered up anyways once i style it i like it i feel like i did pretty good for the first time so i'm gonna just go ahead and start styling it give me some constructive criticism down in the comments below let me know what you guys think i could have done better or things that i could do for the next time that i try it what's one company you would want to work with I honestly don't know but I just know I want to work with more brands this year in general and I'm gonna go ahead and spray some of this heat primer I don't reach out to companies I just wait for them to sort of reach out to me first let's see whose eye I catch this year so i just curl it and then i let it sit and then at the end i'm gonna just brush it out would you ever start a family channel no i wouldn't do that solely because i feel like family channels are just more corny like me and chi we have very very crazy schedules like our schedules never match up so i feel like i would just be um setting myself up and i feel like it would be more so like forcing it and not really a natural thing that's happening if that makes sense which bad sister are you closer to i feel like me and all my sisters we all have like a close relationship it's like a different relationship with every one of them with each sister is like certain things you know you can talk to that sister about or like come to that sister for if i had to choose one i would choose nana because we pretty much text and talk every day how do you feel about birth control i've never been on birth control I used to want to be on birth control because I feel like 
it was a point in time where everybody kept making it seem like birth control makes you thick but then it was like so many people started talking about the bad things about it after like i had tazana i just be like so paranoid i just be tracking my period like i'll be on it like i'll be on my ovulation days all that like i'll be on it is the bad studio happening we're trying to book <laughs> I be trying to tell y'all like I don't be trying to be mean when I be answering to some of you guys in my DM but I feel like I've made it pretty clear that I do not want to do hair for the public and I'm not going to do hair for the public but the baddest studio is just something that Nana said she was supposed to be um, doing for me. I know you guys see where girls get like small buildings and pimp them out and make them like their business room like lash tech so that a project that we're supposed to be getting into she didn't want to take the full hands-on responsibility of it because she feels like i will know how i will want my setup it's basically gonna be like a mini girl cave and just like my space for when i do hair for like them trying new things out like especially if i want to do more hair videos and stuff i feel like that would be like my area for that this hair is curling pretty good as you guys can tell i really love the pink i wonder how it would look if it was like all pink but i was kind of scared like doing like such a bold color like for my first time so i'm just gonna let this sit and finish this other side and then i'm gonna answer a few more questions favorite thing about each one of the bad sisters okay let's start off with oldest to youngest so claudia i like how she's the motherly figure i, I don't want to make it sound i don't want to kind of say motherly because then she'd be trying to say we'd be calling her old people be saying like your mom is supposed to be your friend and your mom at the same time but she's really not she's just supposed to be your mom and like i feel like with claudia it's just like that she gives a motherly but still like as a friend and sister all the fashion trends and like all the cool things i feel like she always was the one to hip us to it so i just like that she's always you know just kept us in the game like with the cool stuff shayla's just like a very genuine person like since i've met her she's just always been like very genuine like you can always tell where her heart is and like she's just real ride or die even though sometimes she go missing but like you still know where you where you guys stand no no she's just a very sweet and caring person she always finds time to hear you out always finds time to make your situation better and she just always wants to have fun and then karen just like my baby sister it's just crazy how older she's getting and it's just like damn this bitch is growing up like i remember when she was just freaking 10 years old karen's just so sweet as well anytime you ask her for anything she like makes sure she does it even if she says she does it because we get mad but she still is sweet but for all of my sisters really like i just love how we just always get together and have a good time like every time we get together it's just always another memory made and i love that for us when i think about stuff like that like that what makes me feel like i want a big family because like i want that for tazana i want her to be able to experience the relationship that i have with my sisters if i have nothing else in this world like i know i have my sisters and i want that for her i feel like that's the best thing like my mom could have gave us was like each other would you ever get a bbl bbl no especially i feel like uh lately a lot of the bbls ain't be ain't been bbling everybody has been looking the same and it's just been looking too much the thighs not matching up so i would never get a bbl i feel like i've always had some type of action back there i won't say i got a like dump truck but i definitely have some ass back there so i wouldn't get a bbl I do feel like as far as surgery i am thinking of i think it's lipo i want to get like all the fat from my stomach removed but first i want to try it getting healthy and all that trying it one way and if that doesn't work see a lot of mothers that have had c-sections before talk about how no matter what they try they never have gotten their pre-pregnancy stomach back 
Say what age can Tazana date? I don't know, cause I feel like growing up you've had your little boot things here and there, but I feel like once you actually get to middle, like eighth grade, going into high school, that's when you start getting into like real relationships. So I feel like I would say somewhere between that age, which I don't know, I don't really know what age that is. Is it like 15, 16, 17? The messiest thing you've done. <laughs> Y'all are so freaking crazy. I don't know. What's the messiest thing I've done? Because I don't really like being in drama and stuff like that. Oh, I do have one. So I'm done with my curls. And I'm just spray a little of this got to be. And let it sit for a few. The last question was the messiest thing I've done. In high school, I was friends with this one girl. She had a boyfriend, but she ended up cheating on her boyfriend with some dude. Which I knew the dude, and me and the dude used to talk. And I kind of like liked him or whatever. You know, I knew it wasn't never going to be like anything serious. The secret ended up getting out, which it wasn't me. Because I'm not even that type of person. But the whole school ended up finding out. And it was just like this big thing. Time went by and me and the girl just ended up falling out. I don't know why but we just like stopped talking. Well I feel like we wasn't really like friends anymore. Like I wouldn't have considered her a friend anymore. Me and the dude ended up being you know like a thing. I remember we was chilling and I ended up posting like a you know like a no face no case type of snap this was when snapchat was the shit i'm guessing she kind of figured who it was i guess after her and her boyfriend broke up she kind of wanted to be like a thing with the guy she ended up messing with but he didn't want to be a thing so she ended up putting two and two together and she found out like that my no face no case was the dude she ended up messing with and she was just like so bent out of shape about it making it seem like that was her man but really it wasn't it kind of felt like a whole messy situation at the time because it was like we was cool at some point we wasn't cool anymore so i didn't really feel like i owed her any type of loyalty so i feel like that would kind of be like my story of the messiest thing i've done that i remember just brushing the hair out now but sometimes like when i brush it sometimes i'll be like having to retouch it and just make sure it looks good so i'm looking at the mirror over here guys so excuse if i'm not looking at the camera it's crazy because every time i get my hair done i have always do straight like i love straight hair but i really like this i feel like should i do one more question what is it like being a young mom i feel like it's bittersweet i feel like it's it like it gets hard you hit that point in time where it's just about taking care of your child and making sure your child you know eats every three hours like i feel like in the beginning it's very hard and then like it just makes you think about like oh my god i'm so young like my life is over with like i'm not gonna be able to do anything but then as your child starts to grow up you start going out and it's more easier on you you're not sleep deprived you're not really dealing with postpartum depression anymore and like things just seem to clear up more and then it's just like you know you look at your child and it's like damn i created this like i brought another human being into this world and it just pushes you to be stronger to find like a purpose in, in life for not only you but for your child as well i feel like it just makes life better well me personally like i just feel like i look forward to doing things with tazana to me it's like bittersweet like i said do you think your childhood make you how you are hardworking but yes i feel like my childhood has a big part of how i am today like the person i am today and it helps me keep going to become a better person because of what we've been through and especially now that i have a child like i don't want my child to go through the things that i had to go through growing up as far as the bad things because i'm not gonna sit up here in front like you know like our childhood was like all these bad things and bad experiences because it wasn't i feel like things happen for a reason i feel like it's like that for everybody like your childhood determines the person you are going to be in the future it either makes you or either breaks you 
you just have to decide which road you're gonna take are you gonna take what life gave you and keep it pushing or are you gonna take what life ga gave you and just be sad and cry about it and you know not do nothing about it i have plenty more questions like you ask me all these questions I'm like oh my god <laughs> i feel like a lot of them are the same questions just asked in a different form so yeah guys this is the end of this video pretty much this is the hair i feel like i could have perfected this a little more but i'm not really going to be too hard on myself because this is my first time but other than that i really love the color i feel like i would try this again with, with like a different color comment down below how you guys feel like i did for my first try give me a rate what do you guys rate my installation from one to ten and i want to give a big thank you to recool once again for providing the hair if you guys want to try this hair color they do have several other colors from green blue orange pink of course they have all the colors so you guys can recreate this look i feel like with the color hair it makes you go through one less process because i've seen a lot of people get 613 hair and then dyeing it whichever color they want and then doing black comment down below what other videos you guys would like to see from me hopefully i like this video i enjoyed making it i was stressing about it i'm kind of like in the middle about it though like i want to say i'm really really happy with the results but i feel like tomorrow once i get all glammed up i'm really gonna love it but i do love the color like i really really love the color and i hope you guys got to learn a little more about me with the questions don't forget to follow me on instagram don't forget to give this video a like don't forget to drop a comment down below don't forget to subscribe to your girl and turn your post notifications on because if you're not watching bad tammy then what are you doing with that being said guys i will see you guys in my next video bye hey guys so i am back just to update you guys a little bit with this wig and as you guys can tell i changed the style i did straight and i am totally like obsessed with this hair like this like if y'all know me y'all know i love straight hair period so it's definitely serving like i'm like 10 times obsessed with it now i did cut it a little bit just to make it even in the back because that's usually how i like my hair i don't really like like the little v cut shape to it i feel like now it's at the top is laying way flatter i did use more wax stick and was putting the iron on it to get it to lay more flatter let me get closer i did go back in on the frontal and kind of clean it up a little bit relayed the lace which it looks much cleaner and it doesn't look like as dark as the first time so yeah i just kind of wanted to update you guys and as y'all see i am all glammed up like hair and makeup so if you guys want to achieve this look make sure you guys check out my description box below and that is it for this video video guys Mwah. i love y'all